Uh, a butterfly spread strategy is another common type of trading strategy used by option traders. So butterfly spread um, is a, it's also useful um, when looking when trying to determine the implied risk neutral distribution from a volatility smile um, and uh, that's something I might put up something on YouTube later but a uh, basic idea is that um, the option strategy is made up of well four positions or maybe three positions four options so one long call, a second long call, two short calls, where, where the <clears throat> exercise is exactly midway between the lower exercise and the higher exercise. So X2 lies exactly halfway between X1 and X2. And when you take the combination and the, the zero, the axis, vert, horizontal axis would be along this axis here until we reach ST. And then the combination of the four options or three positions is this type of, uh, well, butterfly shape where as the underlying asset falls towards some kind of middle range price the value of the position increases and as the stock price uh, departs from that middle range the, the value of the position becomes negative so in a sense uh, this Butterfly could be viewed as a, a bet on uh, volatility and the direction of the volatility should the volatility increase or decrease. And it's also a directional bet on, on the value of the asset. But the, the direction is towards some middle level that, um, we feel confident that in the future the asset price will converge to. Okay, so that's the butterfly. Now, how do we set it up in Excel? Obviously, it involves these different positions. Um, we could we could estimate. Well, we have to set out uh, intrinsic values, <clears throat> but we also have to take into account the premium on the respective positions. So, for instance, the call option here with the lower exercise has a higher premium than a call option with a much higher exercise. And that just reflects the fact that the call option gives a right to buy, and the right to buy at a low price is always better than the right to buy the same thing at the higher price. So this premium here is naturally higher. This premium here for X3, the option associated with exercise 3 is is lower and then of course this gets mul multiplied by 2 it's scaled up twice because there's two options and they um, may not be immediately obvious but this should be quite steep should be twice as steep as both of these okay so premium are important and again to calculate premium um, we should uh, okay to calculate the premium we use black show so initially butterfly spread and then for premium we need to get uh, well we need a black shoals model we need a model that consistent consistently prices um, premium and um, we have uh, code 
in a previous file, so I might have a look at that. So to get the code from another file, go to Visual Basic. This was from another, in fact, from the full spread strategy, but I'm going to use the same Black Shoals uh, VBA code for working out the value of the premium. And the value of the premium we're suggesting could be approximated by using a uh, Black Scholes model. And um, we have to put introduce a module into this blank um, worksheet. So we're inserting a module. And it's a blank canvas where we can edit our, our VBA code. So I'm just pasting in. And again, it's recognized. And then I can take that function copy and go back into the spreadsheet and perhaps just um, paste. So we have values of S. I'm doing it in the same order as presented here in the function S, K, R, Q for dividend yield, sigma being the volatility, and the time period or the maturity of the contract t and we'll take the standardized values so 100 to start off with or 0 0.05 q let's say is zero so no dividend yield volatility 20 percent maturity of the contract is is one year and we take this function again and copy and paste below and then we we'll put equals and each of these variables will link back to the original per black shoulder parameter inputs. So the risk free rate, 5%, dividend yield, zero, volatility, 20%, time period, one year. And we get the same type of standard value that we've been using for a while so with those black shows parameter inputs value of the call option time value to call would be 1045 it also could be viewed as the premium okay and the premium is something that we tend to model into these representations so although it's not uh, indicated here but there is a fairly wide divergence in the premium and we've got to account for that somehow and black shows is one way of making sure that it's done consistently okay so as before if we were to set out a call option so we could think of a range of values for the underlying of the call so starting with a value of zero and go in tens we might have conceivably a range of asset values or equity prices that range from 0 to 200 and in each instance we of course would like to know the value of the call so the intrinsic value of the call and if we can ignore the premium the intran intrinsic value of the call would simply be equal to the, the maximum so the greater of two numbers either this zero or I would say the difference 100 minus um, the, the value of the asset minus the exercise f4 to dollarize and lock the cell reference or zero so there's a never we're imposing non-negativity and return and pull that down and again we can graph that easily enough scatter we'll pick the last option here and um, we can add our data select data add intrinsic call so intrinsic value to call we take the range on the x-axis and we'll take the range on the vertical axis so this is the call intrinsic value. 
and we can see we have the standard type intrinsic payoff in this graph. Now again, <clears throat> we're missing something. If we go back to, to our graph here, that's the intrinsic value to call and the premium. The pre premium is what you pay in order to buy the option. So when we take into account, okay, what's the payoff on an option, like one option, we have to take into account the pay, what the option pays in the event of the stock price exceeding the exercise, but also how much it costs to set up the strategy. So that's the premium, the cost of setting up the strategy. And if we take the value that we have here, it's just, these are just arbitrary values, and we can change them as, it, as and when we want. Um, We'll say, okay, intrinsic value of the option minus the a premium, an arbitrary premium. Okay, and that gets pulled down. And if we introduce that, we might have, we might be able to eyeball, so add a new series. Intrinsic. Uh, Intrinsic with premium. Okay, and um, we have this series of underlying asset prices. So for that range of underlying asset prices, and this is the veil. And click OK. And if you like, the payoff in red here is not unlike what we have here. Okay, so that, that seems to be an initial starting point that we've mimicked or mirrored or replicated uh, the payoff of an option where we have um, a given exercise price and uh, the premium then is a feature of that and this is what we have. Okay, we could format that and put the line legend underneath and maybe we get uh, a graph that that is even more similar again okay so this is a starting point and probably it's not a good idea to save this file so I'll, I'll save the file i'll save it just in the desktop and we'll call it butterfly spread Uh, trading strategy and because I have DBA code incorporated into the spreadsheet we should ensure that we save it not just as the Excel workbook but actually the Excel macro enabled workbook so save that and that prevents us from losing the code when we, we reopen the file so I'll save and We'll pause it here and I'll have part two and part three.